Today, thousands across the nation donated blood for a group who cannot. Not because they don't want to, but because they're gay. Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live in the studio with one woman's gift to her brother in law. Gay or bisexual man can't donate blood because of an FDA regulation set in the 80s when there wasn't a way to test blood for HIV. Even though technology has changed, the ban has not. Give me my blood. For this mom. What is that, mama? Donating blood is more than a lesson to her daughter about giving. I'm okay. As Amy Flynn squeezes a plastic ball to make sure her blood is pumping. With a little help. One, two, three. Not too fast. Every vial of blood she fills represents the amount her brother in law would love to donate, but can't. Say that blood's going to help save other people's lives. Because he's gay. And I was just shocked. I didn't realize that gay people couldn't give blood. The FDA set the ban when there wasn't a way to test blood for HIV. According to the CDC, gay men represent the majority of HIV sufferers in 48 states. Flynn is joining thousands around the nation during the National Gay Blood Drive. I have a lot of friends who are gay that can't give blood, so I'm here today to show that I'm going to stand in their place until the laws are passed that are more fair. This blood drive is happening outside community blood centers all around the nation. Every time someone donates blood, they'll show their support by snapping a picture and signing an online petition that's on the White House website. For whatever reason, they won't accept my, my blood, which I think is ridiculous. Matt Flynn never asked his sister-in-law to donate in his name. And then to teach my niece those values. So hopefully one of these days, this world, we can all see each other as equal people. I mean, it's a step in the right direction. He has also learned a valuable lesson of just how much. I love you, I love you too. His family cares. I love you too. Aww. In 2010, the Department of Health and Human Services agreed the ban falls short, but has kept it in place pending additional research. Reporting live in the studio, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, 41 Action News.